Howdy y'all, this is Red Wolf. I figured it's about time to do another sword review since I just got this sword. Let's talk about it. So this is the Cold Steel Shamshir. This is going to be from their 2019 lineup. Um, I got this recently and I figured I'd do a review on it before I found some new way to tear it up. Um, overall I'm fairly pleased with it. Um, the fitting is good, the finish is good. Um, it was about what I expected. Um, it was about what I expected when we got when we got it ordered. Um, I had some concerns and they were realized but not so bad that they were unlivable. Um, I would say that you'll probably see everything that Cold Steel is famous for and infamous for in one package. Um, you know, the fit's good, the steel's badass. It's sharp, it stays sharp. Um, the sheath is spectacular. Um, the fit's really good, the finish is good. It's a little tight. But I think it'll wear in. It's um, double welted leather with the um, thin brass decoration and all that. It keeps the uh, scabbard rings on. And um, I hadn't broke it yet. I was a little nervous it'd be a little too flimsy. But it, it works. You know, it's within historical spec and all that from what I can tell. Um... And, I mean, it, it weighs ounces to the total package, which is also something I like. Steel might be stronger, but um, you can carry this for a lot further. Um, I mean, I mean, and that's, if, that, that's, that's largely it for the good stuff. It's well built. You know, the, the blade comes down and is uh, pinned or pinned to the, um, the grip. The grip is one piece of polymer. They call it faux buffalo horn, but it's polymer. It's probably polypropylene that's been polished a little bit. Um, the design is pretty good. There's enough room to fit your hand, but not so much that when you go to cut, it slides all the way out. Um, a lot of different hand positions to it. Um, I will say that I think it is too blade forward, but or the balance is too tip heavy. But I'm not intimately familiar with how these are supposed to balance with the fighting style. So I think it's within spec. It's just not where I would prefer it. The balance point, since it's curved, you got to hold it flat a little bit. But the balance point is way out here somewhere. Probably, I mean, we're, we're well within, you know, thumb and pinky range from the hilt. Um, as you probably saw back there, makes it a really good cutter, especially it's not a good chopper, which is when you just push your arm forward and it hits. It's not really good at that because the your point of aim is going to be right here and the actual edge is way back here, so you tend to not hit in an ideal point. But if you slice where you pull your arm in, um, it, it's phenomenal. It, it really, it really does its job. I, from horseback, where these were originally more or less designed for light cavalry, and light cavalry, I would define as against lightly armored or unarmored opponents. Um, when you make your hit, it'll catch and keep sliding. It won't hit like an iron bar and stop on something when it hits it. Um, pretty good for that. Now these, this is a Shamshir, which is a group name for uh, Islamic swords. Um, and is the Muslims tend to use a lot of light cavalry. And this also has the more crescent shape to it. And, you know, the crescent being a symbol of Islam. Uh, it's pretty popular out there. Um, I actually originally um, wanted to get one of these as a um, 
for my mountain man reenactment stuff that I do, these would have been around the height of fashion because Napoleon went to Egypt. Napoleon went to Ar Napoleon went to um, Arabic countries, fought a lot around there, and these were the hot item of their time. If you want to be stylish, you want to be super cool, get a get you um, Mamluks, I believe, or who they fought. But you get you a Shamshir. You look stylish, and you know every once in a while you got to strut around. But um, it's a pretty good sword. I I've cut a bunch of stuff with it. It does good. Um, the balance, like I said, is a little bit off. But the other advantage of this sword is this thing weighs less than two pounds. And that means that the, the balance isn't that much of an issue because it's lightweight enough to make it do what you want it to do. You're not fighting as much against the centrifugal weight of it. Um, if you're interested in one, I would get it. Um, And they're pretty good. Uh, the other thing, because of the, uh, you see my wrap here, the um, the polymer has absolutely no grip. There's nothing textured on here at all. So I would plan to do some sort of stippling or something to it to give you some texture. Or do like I did and put a wrap. And I miscalculated how much I needed. It, it rolls down really far. I might come back and do a second bend. Um, the other thing about the sheath. As you can see, I've got a cord kind of timber hitched on here. And the reason for that is all of the really high quality, um, like Civil War reenactor, real professional grade, um, so saber loops, saber for your belt, your carriage, your straps. Um, these are too narrow to fit in there. So I would take that into account um, when ordering one. Um, I hope that helps y'all a little bit. Um, if you like the review, let me know. If you don't, let me know. If you got any questions, any comments, be happy to hear them. Till next time, this is Red Wolf signing off. Y'all keep up the good fight.